teammates quick message before we start the video uh, we are at 500 plus subscribers right now and our goal to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the month April 2019 so please subscribe share the video with everyone and uh, you know I love you guys very much let's start the video Boop. Hey everybody, my name is Jordan, I'm from Jordan and you are watching The Jordan Show. Today we have a video from Andrew Schultz with the title You wish Trump grabbed you by... Dot, dot, dot. I'm really excited about this. No pun intended. Let's watch together. Roll it! That's my best friend. Trump. I remember when he said, if you're a billionaire, women let you grab them by the pussy. To be honest, you know, like, when I saw that video of him on the bus saying that he just grabs women by the pussy, I don't, I'm not saying because of that video I decided this guy is bad as a bad person I just thought that he would never become the president of the United States because I, I thought the American people take you know these sexual harassment things like way overboard I'm not saying way overboard like seriously okay so they take it very seriously because like we we think about for example our dear friend Louis C.K. having to go through uh, all the shit he's going through right now because of uh, some sexual misconduct, misconduct, uh, like, you know, allegations. They're not really a crime, it's just like bad behaviors, let's say. At least in the United States. Maybe somewhere else it's a crime, I don't know. But after I just I saw that video of him on the bus uh, saying that, I just thought... I would never have to deal with Trump as a president, you know, like I thought this is it, you know, Halas. you know, but no, this is not what happened, obviously. Checks out. I don't, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I know there's women in here who are like, that's fuck. Checks out. <laughs> Stop, that's bullshit. I would never allow that. And to you, I would say... You've never met a billionaire. You're out there getting fingered by thousands. <laughs> it's a different demographic. <laughs> and frankly, I agree with you. A thousandaire should ask you permission before he puts his minimum wage fingers. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy is awesome. <laughs> In your pussy, that's disgusting. That's why your pussy smells like Wendy's. <laughs> but a billionaire? Let him grab your pussy. <laughs> uh, this guy is just, they say, very blunt. And I like this. I like this. He's one of the few new comedians that I just really respect and find really funny. A billionaire grabs your pussy. That's the best thing that's happened to you in your life. <laughs> you're going to sue that guy, and now you're a millionaire. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, at least... Fastest million dollars you've ever made, okay? You know how many billionaires there are in the world? It's like a hundred. Any one of them could grab my dick. <laughs> any one of them. Absolutely anybody. <laughs> Let Bill Gates walk up to me right now, grab my dick, I'll grab his wrist and hold that shit down. <laughs> yeah, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
I'll show you Microsoft. Look. <laughs> he did start an interesting discussion, though, Trump, which is how do you properly initiate a fingering? <laughs> I asked women about uh, what Trump said. I was like, why was it wrong what he said? And every woman I asked said the same thing. He didn't ask permission. See, we were talking about uh, Louis C.K. before. Whatever he did before, like, I think he asked permission. Hey, can I do this? And they were like, no. And he, he was like, okay. Just to be clear. You got to ask permission to finger a girl. Do you know how fucking weird it would be? <laughs> If we're making out, and then we stop and go, you ready to get fingered out? <laughs> pick one, babe. Or two, or whatever you want. You pick the amount. Isn't it easier if we just technically grab some pussy? And sometimes you're like, what are you doing? And we go, oh, oh. <laughs> That's how we've been fingering. Oh my God. I don't know, this is serious. I would say, I would say you would know, uh, maybe. <laughs> you would feel, if it, you would know like, okay, maybe she's okay with it or not. But yeah, this is just, just weird. Hearing you for thousands of years. We grab pussy, you knock our hand away, we speak fake German. <laughs> we wait five minutes and try again. That's how you finger a lady like a gentleman. But seriously, like, these situations are very awkward, you know? <sighs> I guess, like, my experience with these things would go under the we were we were, we were just too drunk to understand what the fuck is going on both of us or maybe i never start i never initiate something like that like precisely that Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, this this it's a very awkward uh you know, situation when you think about it, you know. What what should I do, you know? Should I we're like in my bed, we're kissing, we just came uh came, came back from the club. What like if it's that situation I think it's eh yeah, you should do whatever you want, right? It's that if they we're both totally not too drunk, we're just tipsy, we understand what's going on, and we're just like kissing in my bed and after you know, partying our asses off for like hours. Yeah, I guess it's alright. But asking, you know, asking it just especially that hey, can I do that? It's like what what? Just what? It will kill the moment. Obviously, when we go back down, we don't go down the same way we went the first time. <laughs> right? There's some construction on that road right there. <laughs> what we usually do is we go around back. <laughs> Start rubbing up that butt. Right? She's like, oh my God, he loves my butt. <laughs> and you hook her like a bass. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hook her good like a bass, guys. Get her real good, her face even shifts. <laughs> Take her to the pro shop. <laughs> Now, ladies, don't get me wrong. <laughs> consent is very important. We believe in consent, too, by the way. 
We just take cues from you guys on consent. <laughs> How long you guys been together? Are you guys together? Longer than one and a half years. One and a half years. And in that one and a half year that you've been together, miss, <laughs> because I know how important consent is to you. How many times have you asked him for consent? <laughs> yeah, so again, like, I have all these crazy stories because I'm traveling around the world for the last eight years. I was in 35 countries and I and I had many, many experiences as like, I'm solely traveling. I was traveling for uh, partying in general because of my work and what I do exactly. And to be honest, you know, especially, I don't know how or like when it will, or when in a guy's life, he will reach the limit that he can't, be just you know fucking around anymore but it, you know when i'm living in somewhere and I'm, I'm working in a nightclub or a bar for a while i am i have to keep my guard up because it's it's like my job you know and to be honest you know like it's really hard to actually uh because like they don't really uh, uh ask for consent girls are not used to that you know and that's weird I know it's a very weird situation where a guy says that, but that's the fucking, it's the fucking truth, you know, when, when you are, when it's your work and you're working there for a long time and this is your business, you can't fuck around, you can't do whatever you want, it, because like, you know, it's your fucking work, it's the way you make money, so like I made it, I made sure to actually, you know, keep my guard up all the time, but still, you know, uh, they don't know how to ask for consent, girls, uh, they don't do it. I know it's not as big a, a, of a problem as, you know, guys asking for consent, but, but the thing is, like, it's true, like, girls don't know how to do that, they don't do it. Like, so many times I wake up with a random girl, because I'm blacked out, and I have no idea what's going on there, and I'm like, eh, alright, it happened again. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 a it's part of actually working in a nightclub for a long time. And that's happen. That happens, you know. That happens. <laughs> Say it. Technically, you just grabbed that dick like Trump. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't give a fuck about Arkansas. No. Never once has a girl gotten on top of me, grabbed my dick, and said, may I? <laughs> Even if I said no, she'd be like, shut up, faggot. <laughs> <Just sit there. laughs> what the fuck you mean no? This is a vagina. It's like being a billionaire. You're going to take it. <laughs> All I'm saying, ladies, is you got a lot in common with this Trump dude you hate so much. <laughs> Think about it. Grabbing genitals, orange face makeup. A lot of things you... <laughs> Hair extensions, little hands, he's like... <laughs> Hair extensions, little hands, grabbing genitals, and orange makeup. Like one of your bridesmaids is from. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, that was fucking awesome. That was really funny. He's one of the few... Uh, yeah, he's one of the few uh, new comedians that I really like, you know, like, because he's really funny, he's blunt, he's he's saying what he wants to say, and he's always on the edge. Like, he, I think he crosses the line uh, every now and then, which, but, but that's why we like him. He's really funny, and and I, yeah, I enjoy his uh, comedy. And what do you guys think about, you know, the situation of consent, and like, because like, I don't know. Again, it's not that it's not as a big of problem when a guy uh, asking for consent, but actually girls don't. Even like even in night like you know nightlife, if you if you are in a, at a point when you when you just don't want to do things and and this just happens because I don't know whatever you know. But yeah, like it it used to go to happen to me because like 
I was always, you know, putting my guard up because like it's my work. It's not because I'm, you know, I'm a good guy or whatever. It's just like it's my job. This is what I'm doing here. I work in this fucking place. I'm not here to actually, you know, uh, fuck around. But still, it's just, yeah, there's no, they don't, they don't, because they're not used to it, you know, and they think if you're there, you're there. You're just going for it, man. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace the fuck out. See ya. That's my best friend.